thing that I have done lately, and I think some of my colleagues uh, are generous in their, uh, what's the word, uh, generous in complimenting me in, in my, my whatever speaking I do. Laurie always says, you, can, you make it look so easy. Well, it's never been easy for me. It's gotten easier, but, it, yeah. but I think the thing that I enjoy doing now, and I think the thing that makes them nervous is, that's enough, I'm gonna call for questions. Oh. Where you really do have to be careful, it gives you freedom to talk about, you put examples in that are legitimate, or you can speak from the heart. And, mm -hmm. and there are times when you, um, when you have something you're emotional about, it shows, and, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't run from that as much as I did at one time. But um, the Q&As to me uh, are something I like to do with faculty, and staff when I'm engaged. It has a lot to do with the fact that otherwise they're sitting or staring at you and, and they need to be engaged somehow. Mm -hmm. And it's things that always stress, stress me out that we all staff you. I call for questions, not a lot. So what we've done is change the format a little bit, is give people an opportunity to free form. Any announcements? Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody says, oh, you, you know that Susie so-and-so, the faculty member on such and such, she was recognized by the state Chiropractors Association, you know, mm -hmm. and everybody applauds. It gives me a chance to maybe congratulate the person or say, are there any more things where we can recognize the good work mm -hmm. of people? And um, and I like that that format. I don't run from it. I, I see mm -hmm. the President of the United States, I'll use an example, standing for other news campaigns. I'm always skilled at how well prepared they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has a lot to do with just doing a job every day, mm -hmm. being willing to flex and 